Hello po at welcome back sa aming channel. Ako nga po pala si Teacher Von ng Daisy and Von YouTube channel. Sa channel po namin, gumagawa po kami ng mga educational tutorials, uh, news and updates po ng Department of Education at saka mga vlogs. At kung bago pa lang po kayo sa aming channel, please subscribe Daisy and Von and please click the notification bell para manotify po kayo whenever mag a upload po kami ng bagong videos. Sa video po na ito, i-discuss po natin yung mga possible parts ng isang module. Tapos magpapakita rin po ako ng example. At saka, ipapakita ko rin po sa inyo yung sample ng video na module na ginawa ko po. Tara po, wag na po natin patagalin. Puntahan na po natin yung example ng module. So ito po yung module na ginawa ng isa sa mga teachers dito po sa aming division. Siya po ay si Ma Mary Jane P. Lapinig, isang master teacher 2 po mula sa division ng Sambuanga del Sur. So currently po, sila po yung mga writers na gumagawa ng modules para sa division namin. Nasa region po sila ngayon at gumagawa ng kanilang mga modules na base po sa most essential learning competencies. So sa module po na ginawa ni Ma Mary Jane, subject pa po siya for revision at saka for changes. Pero mostly po sa mga kailangan nating malaman is nandito na po sa module na ginawa ni Ma'am. So yung most essential learning competency po na tinatarget ng module na to ni ma'am is yung separating of mixture. Tapos yung connections between information viewed and personal experiences. And then since thematic module po itong ginawa ni ma'am, meron din po tayong makikitang divide, simple, and mixed fractions dito sa module na ito. So every division po, meron naman po sigurong iba't ibang format ng module. Pero sa division po namin, yung module po namin is may ganitong format. Yung first po is yung procedure. Tapos under po ng procedure is meron po siyang activity, analysis, abstraction, at saka yung application. Or mas commonly known as 4As. So ginagamit po ito sa mga lesson plan. Pero inapply po namin sa module na gagamitin namin para sa aming division. Tapos pagkatapos po ng procedure, susunod naman po yung evaluation. So sa evaluation po, dito natin makikita yung mga iba't ibang sasagutan ng mga bata. Tapos lastly, meron na po siyang assignment. So bali tatlo lang po yung parts ng aming module. Meron po tayong procedure, meron po tayong evaluation, at saka assignment. Pero under po sa procedure, nandoon po yung activity, analysis, abstraction, at saka yung application. So napaka simple lang po niyang sundan kasi para lang po siyang lesson plan. So i-go over na po natin yung module na ginawa ni Ma Mary Jane. So dito po sa procedure, sa activity po, yung ginawa po niya is na gumawa po siya ng short review. Pagkatapos dito po sa baba is nag-introduce na po siya sa new lesson, yung separating of mixtures. So, dito po napakita po siya ng mga picture. Meron pong sand, yung dirty water po, yung sand and gravel, tapos yung munggo at saka yung water. And then, pagkatapos niyan, yan po yung activity niya. And then, sa second part, yung second A, yung analysis po, is nagbigay po siya ng activity na gagawin ng mga bata at home. Kasi, kasi nga po, module po yung gagamitin So, yung activity po is yung bata lang po yung gagawa. Kaya po siya nakalagay sa analysis. So, after ng analysis po, doon na po yung papasok yung pangatlo. Yung abstraction. So, dito na po natin makikita yung mga concept behind po sa activity na ginawa ng mga bata. So, sa abstraction, gumawa po si ma'am ng abstraction sa activity 1, yung magnetism. So, dito po natin makikita. And then, sa activity 2, sa 3 at saka sa 4. So pagkatapos po ng application, next is yung pangalawang part na po ng module, yung evaluation, and lastly po yung assignment. So ito na po yung evaluation part ni ma'am. Ito po, meron din po sa mathematics, kasi nga po thematic module po siya. Meron pong sa English, tapos ito na po yung pang last na part, yung assignment po. Ngayon naman po, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung video na ginawa ko po from this module. So, ginawan ko po ng video yung first part ng module kasi yung module po is good for 5 days. Kaya yung day 1 is ginawan ko po siya ng video 
Tapos, kung gusto nyo pong malaman kung paano ko po ginawa yun, so maglalagay po ako ng link sa description ng video na to na pwede nyo pong panoorin kung kung paano ko po ginawa yung video ng day 1 ng module ni Ma Mary Jane. So tingnan na po natin yung sample na video para sa day 1 ng module na to. Good day class, this is Teacher Vaughn and welcome to another day of fun and learning with me. So in this video, we're going to talk about heterogeneous mixture. So did you enjoy our previous lesson about heterogeneous mixture? Do you want to know more about heterogeneous mixture? Okay, great! So let's take a look at this review. So a heterogeneous mixture is a mixture with non-uniform composition. The composition varies from one region to another with at least two phases that remain separate from each other with clearly identifiable properties. If you examine a sample of a heterogeneous mixture, you can see the separate components. So just like for this example. So I have here a meat salad so you can see the different components of this salad. So you can see the different colors since the components retain their properties. So what I want you to do is to get a piece of paper and pen and then name some of the vegetables or foods that you can find in this salad. So you have to pause the video then come back if you're done in 3, 2, 1. Pause the video. Okay, good, you're back. Did you name some of the foods and vegetables that you know that you can find in this salad? So let's try to name some of the foods and vegetables that we know. So we have here the egg, we have tomatoes, we have the purple cabbage, we have corn kernels, we have the meat at the center, we have some avocados here. So these are just some of the foods that we can find in this salad. So let's proceed to our next slide. So let's check your understanding. So I have here an activity. Then all you have to do is to put a check on the blank if the statement describes heterogeneous mixture and X if it is not. So let's start. In your piece of paper, I want you to number it from 1 to 5 and then I will read the statements. Then you have to put a check if the statement describes a heterogeneous mixture and X if it is not. Okay, number 1. Individual components of the mixture retain their own properties. Number two, the mixture has uniform appearance. Number three, individual components cannot be easily seen. Number four, the different components of the mixture can be easily distinguished. And number five, the mixture has only one phase. Okay, let's check your work. For number one, individual components of the mixture retain their own properties. Is it a check or an X? Okay, very good. It is a check because the components of a heterogeneous mixture retain their own properties. That's why you can identify the different components of the mixture. How about number two? The mixture has uniform appearance. Is it a check or an X? Okay, very good. It is an X because the heterogeneous mixture does not have a uniform appearance. The components have different appearance from each other. How about number three? Individual components cannot be easily seen. 
Is it a check or an X? Okay, very good. It is also an X because you can see the different components of a heterogeneous mixture because they retain their own properties. That's why you can easily identify the different components of the heterogeneous mixture. So that will be an X. Number four, the different components of the mixture can be easily distinguished. Okay, very good. That is a check you can easily distinguish the components of a heterogeneous mixture. Okay, number five. The mixture has only one phase. Is it a check or an X? Okay, very good. It is an X because a heterogeneous mixture can have one or two phases. Since the components of the heterogeneous mixture will retain their own properties. So let's go to the next slide. So can you identify this picture? So what do you think is in this picture? Okay, that's correct. That is a sand. How about the second picture so can you identify the object in the second picture okay that's correct that is a dirty water so we can see that the water in the second picture is very dirty and there are some objects there's there are some particles that we can see on top of the water so let's go to the next slide can you identify the picture yes that's correct that is sand and gravel so we can see the big components of that mixture we have the the gravel okay how about this next picture okay that's correct this is uh water and mongo seeds so we can see the water and the mongo seeds in this picture so the question is do you know how to separate this mixture because if we're going to go back to our previous pictures we can see that those are examples of mixtures but do you know how to separate them are there any ways to separate mixtures so that is what we are going to find out but we're gonna focus on this picture the sand so how are we going to separate that black material this one from the sand so is there any way to separate that black material from the sand so let's find out with this activity so what i'm going to do is to give you this activity one so for this activity this is called the separating mixtures through magnetism so there are some materials that you can you can use you can use the sand and the magnet that i asked you before then the procedure will be you have to combine the substances but since you have already the sand you don't have to combine iron filling because the sand already has the the, the black material which you can found in the picture then you're going to use the magnet then you're going to put the magnet near the mixture and then there are some questions that you can answer after a while so which substance is attracted to the magnet second so which substance is not attracted to the magnet and then third what material is used to separate the mixture so let's start the activity in three two one Pause the video. Okay, good. You're back. So what are your findings after performing the activity? Did you answer the questions? So what you just did is to separate the mixture through magnetism using the magnet. So the iron fillings are magnetic materials. 
they were attracted to the magnet while the sand are not the magnetic material. So the sand are left behind. So this process of separating technique is called magnetism. So you are going to use a magnet to perform the activity which you just did a while ago. And then magnetism is a process of separating mixture which magnetically susceptible material is attracted from the mixture using a magnetic force. So that's the use of your magnet. So it is a form of separating mixtures which involves using a magnet to attract another magnetic object away from the substance it is in. So what you did in that activity, so you take away the black material away from the sand using the magnet since the, mag the material or the black material is attracted to your magnet. So magnets are objects made of magnetic material that produce magnetic field and then magnets pull other objects made of magnetic material towards them. They will either attract or repel other magnets. So that's it for this video class. So I will see you in the next video because we're still going to uh, separate the mixtures, the other three mixtures that we left. So I'll see you in the next video of this series.